The guitar is seriously out of tune. Says who? The guitar speaks for itself. It's, it's trying to be about the city of London, Ontario, but it's also um, a case of mistaken identity. It's a comedy. It's about um, people trying to find their own identity. It's about people trying to um, come out of the shadow of other people, the way that London, Ontario has to always come out of the shadow of its um, larger um, predecessor and counterpart. So it's kind of like, it, it's a little bit about identity and about finding yourself and finding, of, finding your place in the world. Um, and about how London, Ontario is a place where people can connect in a way that they can't in other places. And, and so I think it's, we tried to create this kind of like friendly, kind of fun, mistaken identity comedy about that. The com uh, this comedy specifically took me by surprise. It goes places you don't expect it to. Um, it's surprisingly heartwarming. It's surprisingly heartbreaking. Uh, and it's a lot of fun. <laughs> it's a lot of fun. I find it honestly invigorating to work on new Canadian material. Um, uh, I think the Grand was really smart in hiring Morris Panitch to craft this play and his partner Ken who uh, designed this beautiful set and these awesome costumes. Morris is a world class. In my opinion he's a, uh, a national treasure. Um, so it's been really exciting um, for me at the stage of my career I'm at to get to originate one of his, uh, one of his roles. I think uh, I think my character specifically is pretty lost in this London, um, and he's pretty lost in his life. So what resonates for me in this role is uh, getting to take on a lost soul has been quite something. You're directing your own piece. Yep. You say you've done this before. Yeah. For me, though, it's about uh, transitioning from uh, of the page to the stage, and how that very important process needs the needs the guidance. I think needs my guidance sometimes because a lot of what isn't clear in the script can become more clear with the. It just takes out a middleman. I mean, a lot of people. I, I don't. I don't dislike the idea of other directors doing my work. It's just that sometimes the first time out, I like to be there to try and kind of like help that transition. So I think that's, for me, that's really important.